Okay, so uh, there's been some problems with Windows 10 and getting the drivers to work properly. So uh, this video is going to show how to solve this problem. So if you, uh, you first need to bring up your device manager. And uh, the symptom that you'll see actually is that when you try and program in uh, Papilio Loader or any of the Papilio applications, you'll get a read USB error. And uh, it'll be a USB timeout. And uh, so to solve this, you uh, want to go to Device Manager and then find uh, the Universal Serial Bus Controllers, find the Papilio Serial Converter B and A, right click on one of them, uh, look at Properties, and uh, you should see most likely it will be the Gadget Factory driver that's loaded um, but there seems to be some kind of conflict with the uh, default Microsoft drivers for FTDI, FTDI devices so what you want to do is go to driver click on install and check the delete driver software for this device okay you'll see B disappears, so I, I go ahead and I do this for both A and B. The second time it won't prompt you to uninstall drivers. I think you don't need to do it for the second one, but uh, just to be safe, I'm doing it for both. Okay, so now when I unplug, so we'll unplug the device, plug it back in, and when it comes back up, it should detect it as a uh, the generic device. Okay, and now you'll see that the driver is the FTDI, FTDI driver provided by Microsoft. And now if we try to load a bit file, it actually works. Okay, so you can continue to use uh, the FTDI drivers if you have a Papilio 1 or a Papilio Pro this won't work for uh, the Papilio Duo or you can reinstall your drivers and uh, most installs should have a drivers directory that you can just go in and click the install.bat and it'll go through this install process Okay, so you'll see that the Gadget Factory CDM drivers are installed. You can hit finish. This will close out. And now, if you unplug and plug your device back in, we should be back to seeing that the device shows up. Uh, give this a second to do the think here. Okay, so now we should see them, and if we go to the properties, we should see that the driver is back to the Gadget Factory driver. So this seems to clear things up. Now if we go back and we... Uh, I must have closed that out too soon. Now if we go back and load up a bit file, should work with the new drivers or with the Papilio drivers reinstalled. So it seems to just get confused and uh, uninstalling and reinstalling the driver seems to get it out of it being confused. <laughs> I don't have a better explanation than that. But thank you for watching.